Hello, and welcome to episode four of the Knit and Grace Knitting Podcast. And welcome or welcome back if you are a returning viewer. If you are new here, my name is Mia and I am the maker behind Knit and Grace. And today I bring you the fourth podcast or I guess official podcast of the Knit and Grace channel um, for the month of December. So these are all of the projects that I have been working on um, since we last chatted in November. And um, yeah, um, I was pretty quiet on social media in November um, between work and life. Um, things were just very hectic. So it's been a very long time since I sat down in front of the camera to record. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting down today to film, um, the monthly podcast episode. I am currently, um, sitting in a room without natural light. Um, it is now winter and it was also a very stormy day here in New Jersey today. So um, I had a crazy week at work and so I kind of kept putting off filming um, for the day knowing that I was going to have to film with um, artificial light anyway. And so now I think um, it's about 5 p.m. in the evening so it's completely dark outside and I am filming this and then I will edit it and put it up for you all tomorrow. Um, so today's episode is going to be a little short. Uh, we will not have any extra content in today's episode um, primarily because I didn't film much uh, this month. A lot of my knitting took place commuting or you know when I get home and I was too tired to really film b-roll um, and our weekends were very busy <clears throat> um, with family things um, because we had a recent death in the family so um, I don't have any b-roll to show but also I want to announce sort of my December plans um, before we get into the content of today's episode so for December, I am going to be doing sort of a modified Vlogmas. So I will be putting out a weekly vlog on Wednesday mornings. So it'll be whatever I've been up to. Um, so the first vlog will be up the Wednesday after you see this video. And then I'm also going to put up a weekly Sunday video. So while you all usually are seeing me every other Sunday, you're going to see me every Sunday this month. And so those are going to be sit down videos on a number of topics. Um, I have a knit and chat planned. I have a everything I made planned. So we'll see what I come up with for um, those videos. So yeah, so you'll see me every week, twice a week on Wednesdays for a vlog and on Sundays for a sit down video. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and you probably hear my cats. They've now decided that they're going to fight <laughs> as I film this video. So any noise in the background, that's what that is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into today's uh, content. So first up, we will start with what I'm wearing. And today I am wearing my ranunculus, which I knit um, using one strand of Plotilope and one strand of Rowan Kid Silk Haze um, held together 
I should have pulled up the details. I don't even remember everything that I did. Um, and I completely forgot to pull up the details, but I'll link to my Ravelry page below. Um, and of course, if Ravelry is inaccessible to you, you can always reach out to me. Um, but I think I knit this on the US 10s. I'm pretty sure my gauge was smaller than what it's called for. So I kind of just knit, you know, the this used to be a one size sort of fits all pattern. And then since then, um, Midori Heroes has um, released sort of raglan increases on how you can modify the pattern. And so you, everyone starts out the same for the textured yoke. And so I just worked through the textured yoke and then worked on the raglan increases until I thought that I was at a good place. Um, and then I did knit the body longer with a shorter um, rib. And then I added um, a couple rounds of stockinette and then I did a short rib for a little short sleeve um, action. I think the pattern you can either usually do long sleeves or she does have a short sleeve option or um, they have a long a short sleeve option, but it's like it's just a bound off. So it kind of like is a rolled um, situation. So I did add ribbing to the sleeve there. So that is what I'm wearing, and um, I only have finished objects for you all today, which is crazy. Like I was so busy in November, and then when I looked at the list of everything that I finished, I'm like in shock, um, and I don't have any whips because I just finished um, something yesterday on my commute home. Um, and so I have all of these FOs for you all, I think only one of them is blocked. As usual, none of my FOs are ever blocked. So eventually I'll post pictures of them on Instagram. And, um, but before we get into the FOs, I do want to um, address the winners of the giveaway that I was hosting both here on my channel and also um, on my Instagram page. So I have my phone here and I did, um, random comment generators for um, both of the uh, winners. And so the first one that I will show is the YouTube winner. And so again, just as a reminder, the YouTube winner is winning this bag, um, a fall theme bag with a skein of sock yarn. Um, and so that's what it's looking like. Um, so, and then this is a, a long defunct company, um, but, uh, this is enough to make a pair of socks. It's just a superwash merino wool. And so I am happy to announce that the winner of the YouTube giveaway is actually a very long time friend of mine, Ode. And uh, so yeah, oh, do you have won the giveaway? I'm really excited. Um, just contact me, I'll get your information. Maybe we can even meet up for some coffee. It's been forever um, since we've seen each other. Uh, but her comment that she left was, um, thanks for including the nature vlog. I really enjoyed it. And congrats on reaching those two milestones. Um, and so to win the YouTube giveaway, you needed to ask me a question, which I'm going to uh, answer all of the questions that were asked in a knit and chat episode, which will be my next Sunday's episode. But her question was, what is the next project you will be making for your husband? I have not knitted anything for mine since he lost the baby blanket I made for Benjamin, who will be turning 13 in January, barely two weeks after finishing it. And I, <laughs> I don't blame you <laughs> for not ever knitting anything for him. And I'm pretty sure like I even remember, you know, when you were expecting Benjamin. So that's definitely a very long time to not knit something. And funny enough, I actually do have plans to knit something for Rob. Um, so I may, let's see, I'll try not to mention it as I go through um, the stuff that I'm going today um, because it might come out, but I will address that question in next week's Knit and Chat episode. And then the winner for the Instagram giveaway, which is another project bag that I made. And so this is the project bag for the 
Instagram giveaway. And it's that same fall themed fabric on the back. Um, and so the winner for the Instagram giveaway is a uh, title rave on Instagram. And for Instagram, you just had to tag your crafty best friends and uh, let them know why they are so special to you. And so she tagged her friend breaking out the seams. And she says that um, you are absolutely my crafty bestie. You have always uh, taught you have also taught me so much more and brought such light into my life, even though we've never even met. And that is the best thing, I think, about social media. And one of the things that I constantly struggle with when it comes to social media, right? It's you're putting your life out there, you know, you're kind of welcoming people's comments and things like that. And then also just sometimes social media can be a lot, especially when you have a lot going on in your life. So um, if you all have been following me recently, you, uh, you notice that I've not been posting recently because I do have a lot going on. So social media has been a little taxing. But the fact that we can form like these genuine friendships with people that we may never meet or we have never met um, is just truly amazing you know as I film this I actually just um, sent off my yarn swap box for Melanie of Woolen Berries who I mentioned here mentioned here plenty and plenty of times and so you know she lives in Norway I live in New Jersey and we've never met and you know we're like the best of friends um, and uh, yeah and we may never meet and hopefully one day we do meet but um, it's just really fun how uh, social media has allowed us to do that so I will get into the video. So hopefully I'm not too rambly and this is a shorter video again because I will be placing or putting out videos every week um, for the month. So I have three and a half finished objects to show you today. And I'm gonna start with the largest object, which is my test for Lizzie of Hive Knits of the first cardigan. And so I still have to do the second blocking of the cardigan. Um, and I will be placing photos on my Instagram when the cardigans release. The cardigan is actually going to be released next week um, on December 12th, I'm pretty sure. So actually the, the week following, but pretty sure it's December 12th or December 11th or December 12th when the pattern is going to be released. So I need to do my second blocking of the cardigan and pick out some buttons. And then next weekend, I plan on taking some pictures uh, wearing the cardigan when we're up at my sister's house. We're going on a quick family trip. But I wanted to show you something cool about the sleeves and why this is the second blocking is because when you actually knit this, because the sleeves are in half fisherman's rib, half fisherman's rib, uh, grows quite a bit so you actually put your stitches on hold and you block the entire sweater to see how much your sleeves are going to grow and if it's the appropriate size for your sleeve length and then you knit your second sleeves so the sweater has already been half blocked and so that is the difference between the two sleeves so it's pretty cool and so this cardigan fits me perfectly. I'm really excited and this is exactly what I was looking for and I know I'm gonna wear it to death. Um, but in terms of the specifics for the cardigan, I knit uh, the seventh size, which is for a 44 inch bust. So it has, um, I think three and a half inches of positive ease built in. So I think it's 37 and a half is the finished measurement. Um, and then I knit mine using a US 3 or 3.25 millimeter as my main um, needle. And then I did a US 2.5 or 3 millimeter needle for all of my ribbing and for the, um, the double knit button band. And then in terms of yarn, I used uh, Drops Kid Silk um, in the color light pink held double or held together with 
uh, whole super soft um, in the color almond. So I purchased a cone and I held the cone and the mohair together and I couldn't be happier. Um, Knitting from Holst uh, it definitely has quite a bit of spin oil in it. So at first I didn't notice it as much, but as the garment grew, it definitely became pretty overpowering. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. If you are very sensitive, you may want to actually pre-wash your yarn. Um, once I blocked it and then I knit the second sleeve again, then the smell didn't bother me. I think it was just like once the, the garment got to like a certain point, it was so big that the smell was super overpowering. And so I did notice that when I was knitting um, with the holst. Um, but other than that, the yarn blooms beautifully. It's very easy to knit with. Um, and now I have tons left over for another future project that I might use it for. So that is the first finished object. The second finished object are these socks. So I've kind of gotten my sock mojo back maybe. We'll see, knock on wood, I don't wanna jinx anything. But I knit a pair of house socks and these are the Family Knitwork Socks by Yarnspirations or I think it's for Bernat, um, the pattern magazine. And so this is what they look like. And so these are just a pair of house socks. And so this uh, cast on was inspired by Taylor of Wool Needle Hands. Uh, she, ta she did her like eight quick gift episode. And these are a free pattern that she talked about. And it just so happened that I was going to Joanne that day that I saw that episode. Um, and I needed a commuting project because at that point I was knitting on the cardigan pretty exclusively and it was way too big to commute with. So I picked up some Patton's um, Classic Wool Worsted and I knit these up. And so I used uh, just the USI 7 needles. I didn't even swatch or anything. They're just socks. Um, they're house socks. And so they actually don't look very cute like this. Um, and I am going to take FO pictures. Um, I'm not going to take them in time to put them in this video because of the lighting. Um, but they are super cute on. Um, and yeah, these are these were super fast. I think I finished um, each sock in two days worth of commuting. So like about four hours of knitting um, for both socks. Um, and the colors that I used are um, winter white. Let's see, there we go. Winter white, navy, and um, brown mustard. So I knit these in the adult small, um, and they pick, fit perfectly. Um, if they're just like really funny because you have like the super long skinny tube, but then when you actually put them on, they actually are super cute and comfy. And I have worn them around the house, although I've tried not to wear them too much because I do need to take some FO pictures and, um, I haven't blocked them. Maybe I will block them. Um, I have a bunch of blocking that I have to do tonight, so maybe I'll block them before I take some FO pictures. Um, but yeah. These were super fun, super cute, and I definitely recommend uh, finding this pattern and knitting it. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and link it, link it below as well. Um, like I do everything else, I'm not sure why I said finding this pattern, but I'll link the pattern down below so that you can uh, pick these up. But again, super quick knit, worsted weight, USI 7 needles, definitely recommend. Okay, so my third full finish object is uh, the Black Hat of Doom, as I've been calling it, which is the Oslo hat that I knit for my mom. And so it just came off the blocking mat. Um, so you can see where like the ridge detail for the fold over um, brim is. I think this took like almost the whole week to block. Uh, or to dry, I should say, because my office has been very cold. And since I was working in the office this week, 
um, I haven't had the heat on in there um, in my office it just runs really cold so this is that and this was my mom's Christmas gift request and so I'll go ahead and um, fold up the brim there we go so it's so funny because with the folded brim it looks like it's like a little hipster hat but it's actually a proper hat um, I'll put it on I knit this one in woolly knit in the color jet black held with well so it's just a beanie as you guys can see uh not a good look with my super straight hair I don't think but this is what that looks like um so yeah I knit this with the woolly knit in the color jet black held um double so the pattern actually does call that you use a fingering weight held double um, but then I actually added in a third strand, which was a strand of Drops Kids Silk Mohair in the color black. Because my mom wanted a very, very warm hat. And so I think that this will fit the bill. Um, and so I definitely used my knitting lamp um, slash reading lamp when I knit this because it was pretty deadly on the eyes, especially... Um, when I had to fold over the brim. One thing that I recommend if you are knitting this pattern with a dark colored yarn is maybe do a provisional cast on instead of picking up and knitting together your your folded brim. Um, that'll probably be a lot easier on your eyes. Um, but yeah, I what can I say about this? I knit the third size, which I think is the adult women size. I use a size four, which is a 3.5 millime millimeter needle, and I didn't make any modifications. I just knit the pattern as is, and I will definitely be knitting a few more of this of this hat. Um, I think my husband is probably due for another hat soon. Maybe I'll make him one. Um, he was definitely like peeking over when I was knitting it like, ooh, what are you knitting? Although I don't think that I would knit it in black. Um, I tend to knit his hats like in blues. Uh, he looks really nice in blue. Um, and then he, his winter coat is brown and he has the blue eyes. So I like the way that blue hats look on him. So maybe, maybe he'll get one of these, um, but it's a very basic pattern. I'll definitely be knitting it again. Um, and that's all I have to say about that one. And so the last and final uh, finished object or half finished object, technically it's still not fully finished. <laughs> um, and I'll show you why. Is a quick test knit that I picked up for um, Live of Woodland, Woodland Knits. Um, and so technically it's not finished because they still have the DPNs in the toe, but this is completely finished. I just have to graft the toe together, um, but because I finished these on my commute yesterday, um, I didn't have a chance to graft the toe together. So these are gonna be one of the things that I do block tonight. So um, I'll get a nice picture of these for Instagram. But um, these are test knits of the Arctic Sun Socks. Um, and so that's what they look like. So it has this really pretty um, detail. And I think, let me show you, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is the back of the motif. So that's kind of... A different view and so um yeah so for this test we only needed to finish one sock by December 7th um so I've you know obviously finished my one sock I'm gonna go ahead and submit my notes I'll probably finish the second sock by December 7th but I don't want to wait until then to submit my notes um and then I think she's going to release the socks shortly after um, and so she calls for a, um, strand of Einband, um, by Lopi held together with a kit with a mohair. So that's actually, I had Einband in my stash that I purchased 
recently and so that's what I ended up using um, so for my contrasting color um, these are the colors that I used and so the Einband color is um, 1038 um, I forgot what the color name is but the number is 1038 and then I'm using um, Kid Silk and let's see if I can figure out the color. I have 10,000 bands in my bag. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I think these only have the numbers on them. Hmm. So one is color two and the other is color 20. So I will just go ahead and pop whatever that is down below. But one of my Kid Silk Drops Kid Silk colors is color two and the other is color 20. So again, these are the contrast colors. So the natural shade. Um, and then the color I used for my main color is, whoop, I just lost the DPN. Um, the color I used for my main color is color 9076. So those are the two colors that I used for the main color. Um, and so this is what the sock turned out and so I really love it it turned out perfect it fits me perfectly um and let's see what can I say about this I this is just a one size pattern um and I knit the I used my main needle was a 2.75 millimeter needle and then my color work needle was a three millimeter needle and so what I do when I knit color work socks is I go up either half or a full needle size and then I turn the sock inside out and I knit the color work inside out so that my floats are long enough so that is my last I guess half finish object since it's only one sock um, and so yeah so no whips today, so I'll go ahead and get into the acquisitions. Um, if you are not interested in this portion of the video, you can uh, skip in the chapters um, to my December plans. Um, otherwise, I'll go ahead and jump right into my acquisitions. Okay, so my acquisitions. Um, the funny thing is, is when Liv put out that um, tester call, I actually had just gotten it in a woolly or wool warehouse order. And so I ordered, if you all remember, when I ordered my cones, I placed a wool warehouse order for the black mohair so that I could make my mom's hat. And then also so I can make, um, it, it's the classic. Um, by Espace Co. So this is my wool warehouse bag. And so I figured if I'm going to pay for shipping, I might as well buy a few other things. Um, and I think that they had, um, they had some kind of sale going on, although it wasn't, I don't even know that it, I think it was on the drops, but I don't think that it was on any of the Lopi yarns. Um, and this was bought like, I think I got this package like maybe like the day after I filmed my last podcast episode so at the very beginning of November so this wasn't even like any Black Friday sales so in this package I got a bunch of the drops um oh actually the black is color too so what color who knows I will have already put it on the screen, obviously, but um, I got a bunch of the kit, the Drops Kid Silk in black. Um, so you've already seen that. And then, funny enough, I have been eyeing um, these 
like sheep socks that the petite knitter put out and I forget the name of the pattern so I'll put it here and so I actually bought all the iron band to make that pattern and I ended up making this other pattern so I will definitely have enough of the white um and the black that I'm about to show you I haven't even used any at all um but I will have to order the brown again if I want to remake or if I want to make those um socks and it's the ones with the little sheep around the top and so this is the iron band in the color 59 which is just a black and then I uh my friend Marjorie who we went to Rhinebeck with um she'd make she made the double tofer tofler socks or slipper socks that um Inga of Knitting Traditions put out in one of her episodes. It's a free pattern and she translated it in the video. Um, and so she made the slippers a while back um, and she was showing me sort of the process and I'd always wanted to make them. And then when we went to Rhinebeck, she was actually wearing the slippers. And so then I was like, oh, I definitely want to make them. So I actually ordered um, enough Alephus Lopi to make the slippers and so I ordered this in the color 86 and so um, I will be making those felted slippers um, and I'm really excited about that and then um, I ordered a lot of Lopi this month so between the Ein Van, the Alephus Lopi then um i and this is i guess partly december plans um i was you know scrolling on the gram as you do and sorry put out a test for her ruka pullover um which is part of her icelandic color work um sort of motif and so that one is knit using let lopi and I was picked for the test and so I will be knitting that card or the pullover and so she knit her version in very like um it is she knit a black jumper with uh white and gray color work so I'm actually making it in the exact same colors that she used and then I may make another one that's brown I really I feel like I need it in brown but for now I only bought enough yarn to make the test knit which is the black version that I'm going to make so you'll hear some rattling or of the bags because everything is still in the bags and so um I placed an order with webs um, for the let because I knew that they would get it to me the quickest um, and then I almost, I was like, hmm, maybe I should order it from the Icelandic store, which is where I usually order all my lo loopy yarns from. But again, because I'd already placed the one order and then I didn't want to order enough to really make shipping, um, worth it. I just ordered it through webs. And so these are the three colors that I will be using for the Ruka pullover. So... The black color is number five, the gray color is 56, and the beige color is 51. And so um, this is what I will be swatching tonight. So I need to swatch this so that I can block the socks, the singular sock, the swatch, the cardigan, and the hat's already in blocks. So I'm gonna have a block party tonight. And so that's this yarn, so I'm really excited. So that's kind of a sneak peek of my December plans. Um, I will be working on the Ruka pullover for Sari. And then the last of my acquisitions will also speak to my other December plan. Um, it is a Newtodin order. So I placed um, an order through the Patreon shop update, which was on Samhain. Um, and then the official shop update was a couple weeks later. I think it was like November 12th or something like that. So I did get my Newtodin and I was 
very good and I only ordered two colors um, and so I'm going to show you the two colors that I ordered. Sorry for the crinkles. So the first color is the Gillingroa, which I don't think any of you is surprised that this is the color that I would choose. And so I ordered 600 grams of this beautiful color. Like just look at how pretty that color is. It's just so beautiful. And so I ordered 600 grams of this one. I always have to do the smell. Um, so enough to make a sweater. I'm not sure what pattern I'll be making yet, but this yarn is perfect. And then the other color that I ordered, which again, none of you will be surprised <laughs> um, with, is Brigged. And so. And so as you can already see, this is already balled up. And so I have balled up all 300 grams into this basket. And this is the color that I'm going to use for my Caroline Shawl test knit um, for 100 acre wool for Bella. And so that is another pattern that I will be starting. So. Um, I have quite a bit of test knitting this month. I don't know. I went a little insane. Uh, well, I signed up for the Caroline shawl. Um, Bella put out the test a while ago, and then I was I knew I was going to start it as soon as I finished the first cardigan. And I'd meant to start it this past week, but with work, um, I was getting home very late and very tired this past week, so I didn't start that. So that's going to be my, my knit for tomorrow. Um, and then... So that one is due on the 30th, and then the Ruka is due on the 20th, but that one I only have to do the yoke in one sleeve. So the Ruka is going to be my commuting knitting, um, and then the Caroline shawl will be, you know, my home knitting, and then the good thing is, is actually we have a couple of trips this month, um, and then at the end of the month, we are going to Europe for our big trip of the year um, for nine days. And so we're gonna have a lot of travel knitting. So I'll definitely um, get it done before the deadline. Um, and I actually think we fly back on the day of the deadline. So it'll be just in time for me to be able to weigh it. Um, and yeah, so that's my plans for December. So uh, I will be finishing up or starting and finishing both of those tests. So the Ruka, I need to work through the yoke and the sleeve. And then the Caroline shawl, I will knit the full shawl. And then depending on how, how everything goes, I hope to finish the second of the Arctic Sun socks um, by Woodland Knit. So um, a bit of a shorter episode today. Um, it's still a long one, but definitely way shorter than the ones I normally put out. I hope that this episode found you well. And again, uh, be sure to keep a lookout for my uh, December videos. Um, so just a preview of what's to come on Wednesday. So my first vlog, it's going to be a decorating vlog. Uh, we spent a couple days um, last week, last weekend, which was um, a holiday weekend here in the States, um, decorating the house. It's usually our tradition after Thanksgiving. We buy our tree and we do all the things. So that'll be the first vlog. And then the first of the weekly videos um, on Sunday will be a knit and chat video. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe and do all the things. Um, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.